Hello, Sag. Welcome to your mid-September reading. I hope you are having a pretty good day. You know, we don't always, you know, need spectacular days, but it's nice to have good days, you know, especially when we're in the weekend and we reevaluate our lives and our nine to fives. <laughs> okay. I've got this song in my head and it's a part and uh, this guy goes, I have a big fat bone to pick with you, my darling. <laughs> now, I don't know what that means, but we're going to find out. We're going to do the Carnage Carnival game that I bought at the dollar store. And we're going to bring up the energy. Because surprisingly, these guards are awesome. Here we go. Here we go. What is the theme for Sagittarius? Sometimes I feel like to sing the energy in. Ooh, popcorn. Lucky day. We got a clown. A hot dog. The flying Dutchman. Balancing act. With human cannonball. Okay. Tattooed woman. Lion tamer. Merry go round. Coconut shy. Free ticket. I'd say so. I would say someone's got a free ticket to a show, let me tell you. And, oh my god, you know what I just got? Goon. Uh, the very beginning of the movie when Glatt's all like down in the dumps because he has like no real big like thing, no like career or job. And so he goes, let's just go watch the assassins kick the shit out of Oshawa. And then they go to Oshawa and, <laughs> or they go to the game or they go to Oshawa and uh, Glatt's like, these are tasty treats. And he's sitting in the, and he's watching the hockey game like, look at what we look, what kind of tasty treats we got going on here. We got a hot dog, popcorn. I'd say we are at a fucking show. You know what I mean? We're at a show and it's, it's a lucky day. It's one hell of a fucking day because you got a free ticket. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So I can't help but look at the Flying Dutchman and the Merry-Go-Round as if I feel like it's possible that um, two wheels are coming into effect in somebody's life. Two. Not just one, but two. Two things are going to change, which is why, oh my God, you know what I just heard in my head? You got free tickets to the gun show. You know when somebody does this and they like flex and they're like, you want tickets to the gun show? That's, that's what I just heard. Oh my God. My ex-boyfriend used to say that all the time because he was a bodybuilder. <laughs> oh my God. My sister would laugh right now. She would say gondosh right away. Okay. Tattooed woman, lion tamer. Um, I feel like, uh, Someone's got a hold of something or they're going to get a hold of something. All right. There could be some type of energy that's out of control. Okay. we got human cannonball with lion tamer. Okay. There could be something that's uh, about to be fired or something that has to like, it has to be controlled. Okay. Like the human cannonball, he has to know exactly what to do in that situation. Right. Because it could kill him. So it's like, I don't know if somebody, and then coconut shy, I feel like, um, somebody, 
in this situation, like, like about to be a lime and ta lime and tamer, as you can tell, I don't like tamers. My fucking mind won't even say them. Okay. So clearly you're moving into a situation. Okay. Where you're going to have to kind of like, I just heard take the bull by the horns. Um, uh, you're going to be in control of something obviously. Okay. So if there's a point in your life where you're shy, the world is like, stop being shy because something is about to come out of the corner. And if you're shy, it could ruin your opportunity because a shy person cannot be a lion tamer. Okay. You cannot be shy and in the corner and quiet when dealing with a dangerous lion. Lion, okay. Um, tattooed woman, you could have tattoos. Okay. Which is why that's up in general. Um, you could be very tattooed and this is why this is coming up because maybe you're thinking like your tattoos have ruined it. They've ruined you or something like that. And they're going to ruin your opportunity with this. No, this isn't your opportunity. If you're covering tattoos, I mean, look at how much this girl has. She's it's not just a little bit. It's quite a bit. Okay. Yeah. Mark Suckerman. I'm tattooed up. <laughs> you may look like yellow wolf or have like a lot of tattoos like yellow wolf like your whole neck might be done and like shit might be done okay um this is your lucky day okay this is your lucky day um you might have had some type of balancing act for a little while okay and the balancing act i mean you can only do it for so long until you just get absolutely fucking exhausted okay uh tell me about this tattooed woman i just heard gold dust woman Take your silver spoon, take your grave. I was singing that song the other day. Ooh, triumph. Okay, so um, this tattooed woman, we got triumph, which is just the chariot. Okay, moving forward with the lovers, Gemini energy, lady of airships, the queen of swords with the navigator of engines, which would be the knight of wands. Okay, so the queen of swords comes together with the knight of wands yeah literally moving forward what why did this all of a sudden just turn into a relationship where's the okay what's up with the free ticket just before I read. Four pentacles, four swords in reverse just dropped. Four, four. The explorers. Okay, this is kind of like triumph over healing four, four, five, healing um, like, okay, with the balancing act, you might not have had a lot of money. Okay, and what money that you did get, you really had to fight for. Hustle, you know, you really had to hustle for that green, for that paper, right? Um, in pops, this lady of airships and navigator of engines with the explorers, which is the lover's energy, but maybe, okay, maybe you're about to explore something that you've never done before. Okay. Which is why it's the free ticket because you never thought possibly that you would be able to do something like this. Temperance, the high priestess, like you, okay, you know, there might be a huge test coming up. Okay. And man, have you ever studied for it? Um, this test is I, uh, maybe what I'm getting with this. Okay. Like you would have had to do a lot of work to get to that stage with that animal. 
okay? Which is maybe why the wheels have turned because you've progressed a relationship with something, okay? There's the hair font right there that kind of just came up. Maybe you, maybe you're watching and, and like learning something, okay? And you weren't quite sure if you were going to be able to do it, like it's a new skill or something, but you've been super shy and you just really didn't know if it was something that you were going to be able to do. Like maybe it is a relationship and you're like, can I really actually like be a husband? Can I actually like be a wife? Can I be a parent? Can I do this? Can I do this role, right? Can I actually actually go above and beyond and the universe is like yes you can because the whole like it, it's almost like you know how to balance your life um and i think i'm pretty sure let's see what's going on with the money situation here cosmic blueprint okay something's over maybe that's why you've got the the ticket to the new show this is the new show okay the new show with new characters so it looks like there's a lady of swords coming into your life and you're going to be navigated straight to them and this lady wants to work with you because they know where you're headed and secretly you know this Okay, it's just a balancing act. It's it's getting to where you need to go. It's balancing emotion with electricity because somebody's job, okay, is about to change big time. Okay. And then in comes the contract almost like there's almost, there could be something, some type of new skill that you're about to learn, right? Which is why the hair fonts here. Right? Because I was like, how is this lovers all of a sudden? This doesn't seem right because it's not. It has nothing to do with lovers. The explorers are just about two people coming together to kind of like explore the unknown, okay, to, um, to go on a journey together. And I feel like the journey is between those two, the lady of airships and the navigator of engines. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be together, but it's a, it's a journey that they're both going to take together. So it's almost like, it's almost like this is like kind of a joke. I mean, you could have been almost standing back and, and watching your life kind of pass you by. And now you're going to be completely submerged in it is what I wanted to say. And look at the suspension tank with the tower. So something is definitely happening. Okay. Um, uh, in somebody's life. And this is, this is just a fucking lucky day, man. This is just a lucky break. These kind of days happen for people who have worked to their fucking ass off and they know that they have, and that luck that gets taken from people that don't know what they're doing with it is almost like, you know, this is where you've watched a lot of people succeed. Now you're going to triumphantly succeed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight majors just came out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five compared to, uh, one court card and three minors. This whole reading is taking up by major arcana. So this is something that is, it's cosmic blueprint. It's, it's in the cosmos. It was, it was destined and designed to happen the way that it's happening. Oh my God. There's another major. It's the devil. Okay. So it's like, I feel like somebody's life has been controlled, you know, and now all of a sudden you're going to get the reins to your own life. And then this lady of swords comes out of nowhere, which gives you this opportunity to move. Okay. It gives you an opportunity to explore something unknown that you might've never possibly been able to do because you've been too busy fighting. <laughs> fighting and healing and holding on to every cent you've ever made, right? Times are changing for somebody's life big time right now. And it's like, you are just going flying straight into it. The flying Dutchman flying straight into their life, straight into the fun part 
of the circus, nine of airships in reverse, no longer worrying about things. I mean, look at that card. Look what he's worrying about. Look what he's dreaming about. He's dreaming about what's in it. The thoughts that are in his head or something that it's about to explode, right? Something that's about to go down. It's on fire and he's worried about it, right? And now it's almost like you're not going to be worried about this anymore. You're not going to be worried about where you're going. Like maybe you don't know the direction in which you're headed and spirit is going to show you very, very soon where you are headed. Where are you headed? Let's just ask. Let's see what comes up. Oh, one card. There's another one. Oh my gosh. There is death. Death just came out with messenger of engines. Ooh, there's the message possibly from this lady of airships. This lady of swords comes in and brings this message. Oh my God. There's another major technomancer. Okay. That would be the magician with comet. There's the moon. Oh my gosh. Like the majors have just absolutely taken over this now. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven majors out of this reading. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven. Wow. Anything else? So that's the new phase. Like there's, there's the incoming message. Okay. That kind of like destroys it all. And there's the nine of pentacles. So it's like whatever you've been worried about, because your life has obviously been, um, taken, taken over by somebody or something. Um, something might've been just kind of like holding on to your life. Okay. Like it's been stuck onto you. Okay. It's now being destroyed. Like we've got two cards of absolute destroying energy with the comet and the tower. And then the techromancer to kind of all put it back together like a magician would, right? Once this message comes in. Okay. Transition is here. Death is here. It will make room for you. So anyways, that's it. That's how I'm going to leave it. I'm like super kind of like really stoked about this message. Oh my gosh. Look at on the bottom of the deck. Before I say that there's the ace of cups, the ace of submersibles popping up out of nowhere with the ace of engines underneath the ace of wands. And we've got the three of engines, which is the three of wands. Okay. Kind of like a spontaneous kind of move all of a sudden, once this ace of cups and ace of wands kind of comes out of nowhere. Okay. We've got the apprentice. There's the fool on a whole other journey. Okay. And then judgment on a whole other journey towards almost like a fucking rebirth taking control back over you. Like that's why the universe said, this is your lucky day. Okay. Something might even come back in from the past that you're navigated straight towards. Okay. Because of this opportunity. So this opportunity is going to open up so many doors for somebody because it was literally destined to bring luck right to you. Honestly, this new start. It's like, it's going to rejuvenate somebody. It's like, somebody's going to get their second chance at stability, making money again, being able to stand on their own two feet, wanting to hang around here, knowing that they're here for a reason and that they've been so controlled for so long and so shy to break free of what was taking over them that now that they've broke free, they've realized that they don't need to heal anymore. They don't need to hold on to money anymore or, or fight anymore, right? That it's time to learn something new. It's time to transition their life. They're time to get out of old energy and into something new. 
and this looks fucking awesome like i'm so stoked for this message for you sag so i really hope that it resonates with somebody out there and i really hope that this comes through for you all of those majors that came through this reading like I'm just curious because I think that might have been the most majors that have ever come out. I'm going to count them one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's only twenty one. So 14 majors came out, okay, for this reading. Then we've got one, we've got three court cards and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight minors. So majors out of 11 other cards still beat them with 14. So out of 25 cards, 14 of them took on the major titles. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to say, yes, indeed, this free ticket into the future is definitely somebody's fucking lucky day. And I'm getting this song in my head. Oh my God, I haven't listened to this song in so long. I'm getting the song, um, All I Need by Radiohead all of a sudden in my head. So like, I feel like whatever this next phase is for somebody, it's literally all they need. That's it. That's all they need is just, just get into this next phase. And they're basically set to hang around for life until they go and they pass on and they go into some other realm. This is all they need for the rest of their life. So Sag, whoa. All right. I just want to say, whoa huge. Um, I'm actually like super honored. I feel to bring that message out because there's not too many times where I get messages that are that fucking good. Like you climbed Mount Everest and you fucking did it. You know, usually it's like you climb Mount Everest and then you got a, a witch and a warlock all of a sudden on your ass. And then you get to the top of the mountain and you got to fight a bunch of leprechauns and polar bears. That's basically how my readings come out. But this was like, you just walk right into this free ticket and this lucky day that just changes so much in your life. It's like, it gives you back the control that you needed, you know, and it, it brings you out of shyness. It's like, it opens up the door from shyness into like complete transformation, which is why death was there, right? It was there to, to change you, to, to get you out of stagnation and to get you moving again. So Sag, thank you for that reading. Awesome energy. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, whitneymoonshine at gmail.com. If not, just enjoy the channel. Enjoy the energy. Enjoy this wonderful fucking reading that just came in, I hope. And um, yeah, thanks everybody to the new subs and to the, all the new people and to all the wonderful comments and um, the support and the emails and everything that you guys do. It's so wonderful. And I'm so grateful to be here for the, like, the third time around. So that's awesome. And uh, welcome to me and my life and the craziness that is this channel and my head. Also the readings. They're always a treat. So yeah, thanks everybody and peace out. Have a wonderful weekend.